Thank you, Lord. Well, New Life Church, welcome to our Friday midday. It's good to be here with you. My name is Pastor David. We're going to worship the name of our God, and we're going to have a time of prayer. If you want to just join in with us, whether you're at your home with your kids, whether you are at your church office, whether you are at your office at, at work, we just want you to join in with us, and we're going to worship the Lord together. We're going to pray together. So I'm going to ask the team uh, to, to lead us in a few songs, and then I'm going to give us a time to pray and intercede together. Would you pray with me? Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the glory and all of the honor. We say, oh God, there's no one like you in all the earth. And we lift up the name of Jesus. We say the name of Jesus is above every sickness, every disease. We say the name of Jesus is above every fear, every worry. We say the name of Jesus is above every financial difficulty. We say the name of Jesus is over every oppression. We thank you that the name of Jesus is King. Jesus, we call you King today. And we say, Lord, be King in our hearts. Be King in our, in our homes. Be King, oh God, be King, be King. Oh Lord, even as we approach this Palm Sunday, we say, be the King. Be the king. Come and walk down the streets of our hearts and be king today. Be king today. Will you open up your hands right where you are and just invite the king of glory. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. The Lord God, strong and mighty. He is the king of glory. Would you just receive him now? Receive him in your, uh, in your mind. Receive him in your thoughts and receive the king of glory. Let him fall fresh upon you now. We receive you. We receive you, King of glory. We receive you, King of glory. Join us as we worship the great name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be enthroned upon our praises right now, God. Be enthroned upon our praises. We lift you up, O Lord. You're most worthy of praise. Yes, Lord. You're the King of my heart, God. Jesus, Jesus. And you're good. You're good, O Lord. We extol you, God. We magnify your name, Lord. And you are good, good. Whoa, you are good, good. Whoa, you are good, good. Whoa. Good, good. Can we sing that one more time? So you are good, good. Oh, you are good, good. Oh, you are good, good. The king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life. Oh, he is. Let me sing that again. Let the king. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, 
the ransom for my life. Oh, he is my son, and you are good, good. Whoa, I declare that you are good, good. Whoa, you are good, good. Whoa. The anchor in the waves, whoa, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of all days. Oh, he is my song, but you are good, you're good, whoa. Lord, I declare you're good. Even when the storms are raging all around, you're still present, Lord. So we call upon the goodness of God. Show yourself in my home, oh Lord. You're flattening the curve of worry, of sickness, of anxiety. Your goodness, your goodness, Lord. So may my knowledge of your goodness 
abound more and more. May the knowledge of your goodness abound more and more. So may my knowledge of your goodness abound more and more. May my knowledge of your goodness for you are good, good. steal to kill and destroy but i hold on to your promise that says you've come to bring us life and life abundantly because you're good god i hold on to the goodness of my lord today you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down you're never gonna let never gonna let me down as we're singing, I just have this picture in my head and I can see in your homes and I can see the enemy in your homes and I can see him screaming and taunting and I can see him making lots of chaos and lots of noise. So, so much that it sounds like you can't hear anything else. But what I also see is I can see the Lord in your homes and I can see him walking around each room up and down the stairs all around your house and just as he does so peacefully so quietly he's walking amongst all the chaos and i can see him just going Shh. and the moment that he does that i can see the enemy just start to cower in fear of him just start to cower in fear of the lord and so right now the lord is just coming into your homes and he is just quieting all of the chaos and he's quieting all of the noise and the taunting and he's a prince of peace in your home right now it's jesus lord would you finish the work lord would you finish the work god i just pray that the enemy would flee right now in jesus name I declare that the enemy has no place in your home. He has no place in your heart, no place in your spirit. He has no claim over your life. He has no claim over your family's life. He has no claim over your children's lives. Lord, would you finish the work? Would you quiet us, Lord? Would you quiet our spirits and blanket us in peace? I'm a spirit of peace, he says. Oh, I'm a spirit of peace. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing too hard for me. I'm a spirit of peace. Oh, there's nothing too hard. I'm a spirit of peace. Oh, just quiet yourself right now. Quiet yourself in his presence. He's a spirit of peace, spirit of calm. Spirit of peace. Nothing's too hard for you, Jesus. Nothing's too hard for you, Jesus. And though the storms may rage, you do not rage, you do not change, you are good, Jesus. Though the storms may rage, you are good, Jesus. And you never let. 
spoke a word you were singing over me you have been so so good to me before I took a breath you breathed your life in me thank you Lord so so kind to me you've been so kind seen again you've been so you have been so so kind to me oh let's sing you've been so kind to us yeah you have been so so kind to us you've been so couldn't earn it I don't deserve it still you give yourself away no the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God your foe still your love fight for me oh thank you lord you have been so so good to me when i found no worth when i felt no worth you paid it all I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away, oh the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of 
There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming at You know, maybe you've said this and sang this chorus a thousand times before, but even wherever you're at right now, in your car, in your office cubicle, sitting on your couch, laying on your bed. I just want to encourage you, I want to invite you to join in with us right now. Sing it, declare it, declare that God is a God that will never stop. Nothing comes between us and the love of our Lord, the protection of our God, the peace of our God. Nothing, nothing, nothing comes between us. Nothing comes between us. So I invite you to sing this with us right now. There's no shadow. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. Yeah. Snow wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I earn it, I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away. And oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. So about uh, a week ago, I got a phone call from my family. Uh, that lives in California that my brother who lives in Atlanta had begun to develop pneumonia in his lungs and my whole family are we all have, all have asthma in our family and, and as we began to hear these news we were worried that uh, he had uh, contracted the virus and we were really concerned my brother's a pastor down in Atlanta and serves a lot of uh, people much like our church serves and uh, um, my brother's in his uh, 40s and and uh, so we were just we were concerned he's married has three three children adult children and, and so we were worried and very concerned my wife was with me when we started to get the news and um, and I began to reach out for prayer because it was something that I could not handle on my own and as we begin to reach out for prayer, the church begin to pray. In Acts chapter 12, it talks about this verse. And those are that from New Life that are joining us. You know this verse well. This is the prayer we prayed over Pastor Dan as God began to heal his body years ago. And, and it was but the church prayed. And it wasn't just our church that began to pray, but um, some of our pastors began to share it on their social media pages. And, and people were praying all over the nation. People were praying in California where my family was and Tennessee where my sister lives and, and, and our uh, siblings, we all began to pray. And, um, uh, we even had atheists who were, who, who we do social work with begin to say, well, we want your brother alive too. They begin to ask the Lord for help. And just a lot of people just begin to pray and, but the church prayed. And, 
I, I'm so glad to, to be able to report that this morning I, we did a Zoom call with my brother and, and my siblings, my four other siblings and my brother and my parents, my mom and dad in California. We all did a Zoom call. My brother is alive. My brother was to be able to talk and testify of the goodness of the Lord. He began to tell us of how his experience in the hospital and uh, began to tell us how there were people laying on the floor because they didn't have enough hospital beds and, and not enough respirators and, and ventilators. And, and he just began to describe what was going on. And he had tears in his eyes as he was on this Zoom call. And he had already started to lose weight. And we could see that he, his labored, his breathing was even labored as he was talking to us. And, and we all, all six of us were crying on this Zoom call. My parents were weeping on the Zoom call because because the church prayed, my brother's life was spared. And he kept saying over and over, I thought I was going to die. But the church prayed for me. And he began to say this song, the Andre, old Andre Crouch song, that someone prayed for me. We're not going to sing it today. But he, he had this song. He said, someone prayed for me and had me on their mind and took the time to pray for me. So as Jackson and my wife and Kurt on were leading us in this place of worship you are good you are good and you're never going to let us down if we can maybe go back to that chorus and and and, and that the idea that he will never let us down but there are people who are ill still and I'm thanking God for the protection that he's given to our church. And yesterday we prayed with Pastor Dan and Pastor Kevin. If you had a chance to see midday from Thursday, go back and look at it and let that encourage your heart. We begin to proclaim that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. We begin to cover. But my wife, her family is from New York and I have friends in, uh, in, in New York City. How many know they need prayer today? I want you to go to a place of prayer and can we pray outside of ourselves just for the next 30 minutes or so, 15, 20, 30 minutes and begin to ask God, Lord, you are a God that will never let us down. Lord, right now we come to the place of intercession. I'm so glad you spared my brother's life. I'm so glad you spared TJ's life. Oh God, and there's still recovery that he still has to walk through and still recovery that he has to go through. But Lord, there are thousands I have the privilege of having a church family to pray, but Lord, there are those that are going through this in isolation. Lord, we come to you in a place of prayer. Will you join me right where you are? Will you take five minutes? I know some of you may be at work. I know some of you, maybe you're not able to, but will you take five minutes? Or maybe if you have to come back to this place of prayer, but would you begin now to call upon the good God that we serve, the God who is a healer, the God who is a deliverer, the God who promised in Isaiah that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. Can we come now to a place of prayer? And can we begin to declare that he is a healer, that he is a restorer, that he is a God who does miracles. He's a way maker, a miracle worker. And even when we can't see it, he's still working. So, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we call, hallelujah, out to a God who is a way maker. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that you have spared my brother's life. I thank you that you healed his body. And I thank you that there's more healing. As we prayed earlier, finish the work in TJ's life. Finish the work in TJ's life now in Jesus' name. But, Lord, I pray for every person. Oh God, that's in a hospital bed in New York City. I pray for every person, oh God, in New York, in Atlanta, in Seattle, oh God. In, oh God, these troubled areas, oh God. We cover them now in the blood of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. And we thank you. We don't pray hopeless prayers. We pray faith-filled prayers. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you are a good God. Would you heal? Would you heal? Would you heal? Would you heal now, God, in Jesus' name? We come, oh God, to the altar and we say, Lord, 
You are not a God who lets us down. So God, we pray for healing. We pray for salvations. We pray that the sick would be saved. Oh God, both spiritually and physically. We pray, oh God, against those, Father. Lord, we pray against those anxiety, those things that have caused us to go into a corner. And Lord, we say, lift it now in Jesus' name. King of glory, lift up our head. Lift up our head. Lift up our head now in Jesus' name. Oh God, we cry out to you. We cry out to you right where you are. Take about 30 seconds and begin to lift up a prayer. Begin to lift up a prayer. Pray a promise. Pray a promise from the scripture. Pray a promise that he is good. Pray a promise that he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Come on, let's lift it up to the Lord. Let's continue to intercede. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, so I pray for every family member, oh God, who is struggling, trying to take care and care for uh, their family members who have contracted the virus. Lord, I pray, oh God, for hope to arise again. Lord, I know that when I was praying for my brother, oh God, we couldn't have contact with him. His wife couldn't go into the hospital with them because they were trying to keep everything safe. Oh Lord, I pray, oh God, for the family members who are uh, uh, disheartened now and who are wondering, is their family member okay? Lord, I pray for peace. Would you now begin to go to a place of prayer for husbands, go into a place for prayer for wives, go into a place for parents, go into a place for loved ones that can't reach out to their loved ones because of what's going on. And don't go to a place of hopelessness but let's begin to proclaim the promise of God in faith that God will be there with each spouse that God will be there with each person so Lord right now we call out the name Jesus and we say Jesus come Jesus come even yesterday during our midday prayer clan began to sing a song uh, of Jesus break forth into the hospital beds Lord we pray right now would you break forth into these family members break forth let there be a releasing of grace I pray oh God for an extra release of grace now in Jesus name an extra release of grace into every home extra release of grace into every uh, church community an extra release of mercy an extra release of mercy into these places oh God I pray oh God for unity within families oh oh God as this sickness and this disease can cause all sorts of emotions oh God I thank you for your grace I thank you for your mercy that's coming into every family dealing with this illness and dealing with this disease Disease. Lord, I pray, oh God, for families who have had death in their families, uh, not even related to the virus, who can't uh, mourn their families correctly and, and, and can't have weddings during this time. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would bring peace. Oh God, we say you are the Prince of Peace. Now, God, bring your peace. Bring your peace in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, God, that you sit high on the throne and you come down to interact with us. So, God, now on this on this weekend of, of Palm Sunday, oh, we say come and walk into our streets and let us know who you are again. Proclaim your name like you did to Moses, that you are the God who is compassionate, full of graciousness, full of mercy slow to anger and abounding in love would you fill us now fill us with peace fill us with peace fill us with peace go to New York City now we we pray oh God that in New York 
We pray for healing grace to be upon every family in New York. Healing grace to be upon every church in New York. Every pastor, give them a wisdom, oh God, beyond their years and their experiences. They will begin to believe you for something more than just maintaining. I pray for uh, impartation of healing impartation of healing signs wonders and miracles we pray in jesus name all over the city of new york all over the city of new york we thank you oh god that there's a lifting we thank you god we pray would you bring a lifting bring a lifting into that area bring a lifting a lifting a lifting into that area lift every sickness Lift every disease, oh God. Lift every blanket of fear. Lift it now, oh God. And a garment of praise. Hallelujah. A garment of praise. A garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Oh, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. If you have any prayer requests, right here, right now, on your on your on your computer, your phone, begin to type through a prayer request. There are people from our church community who will pray and agree with you right now. Just begin to name names, begin to name cities, begin to name how I many our God is big. Begin to name the things that need to be prayer. Maybe it's a prayer request that's not even related to the virus. Begin to put those prayer requests in, and let's contend together with a God who's good, a God who's strong. And a God who is mighty, may he finish the work. May he finish the work. May he finish the work. Let's sing. You're an ever-present help in times of trouble. You're a comfort and a peace for my soul. Our joy and suffering, you're an ever present help in times of trouble. Oh, you're an ever present help in times of trouble. Yes, you're your peace and a comfort for my soul. You're my hope. You're my help, you're my joy and suffering. You're an ever present help in times of trouble. Lord, I declare that you are an ever present help in times of trouble. That is a promise that we can cling to. That is a promise we can cling to. And so, Lord, we hold you to your promise this morning because you said that we could. You said that we could trust you and we could hold true to your promises. And so, Lord, we ask you to be an ever-present help. May we feel you at all times. May you be our comfort. May you be our peace. May you be our breakthrough. May you be our joy in our suffering, Lord. May you be our joy. Lord, right now, I just declare that joy would rise. Lord, even for those who are sick, would they be able to feel a joy stirring in their soul? The peace that passes all understanding, that they might be able to lift their eyes and to praise you even in the midst of their suffering. You're an ever present help, Jesus. Oh, you're an ever present help in times of trouble. You're a comfort and peace. You're a comfort and a peace for my soul. My soul. Oh, you are. You're our help. You're our peace. You are joy and suffering. You're an ever-present help in times of trouble. So let praise arise. Praise arise from your children, even now let praise arise from your children, the praise arise from your children, cause you are, you are, you are an ever present help in time the trouble. 
You're an ever-present help in times of trouble. You're an ever-present help in times of trouble. You're an ever-present help in times of trouble. So yeah, even on the uh, feed. We're seeing people ask for prayer. So Lord, we pray for these individuals who have uh, already contracted this virus. Lord, we pray for healing over them. We pray for our first responders. We, we see a, a, someone posted a, of a firefighter who developed a fever last night. Oh God, I pray, oh God, uh, he's married and has five kids. I just pray right now for all our first responders of protection, oh God, the blood of Jesus covers. And we pray for the blood of Jesus to cover. Let praise arise from these lips from these homes of the goodness of the Lord of the faithfulness of God of the healing protection of our Lord so we just pray for our first can you join me in praying for our police officers will you join me in praying for our firefighters for all of our medical professionals and for any other uh, area of public service we pray now we pray even for someone else posted about a prayer for the union mission and the workers that are there we pray for those that are helping oh God the union mission and the and the dream center and the salvation army and these other areas uh, mercy chefs, all these areas that are serving, that are out serving during this time. Lord, we say protection now, a protection now, a protection uh, now. Well, Psalms 46 says, you are very present help in the time of trouble. And then it says, therefore, we will not fear. Therefore, we will not fear. Our lack of fear isn't because of ignorance. We don't fear because of knowledge, because we know that we have a God who is a very very present help in trouble. You helped TJ. You've helped Pastor Dan. You've helped others in our congregation. Oh Lord, send your help, your right hand. Holy Spirit, we cry out to you and we say, send healing strength, send healing power, break off anxiety, break off fear and release praise for you are our present help in trouble. Our God is near, so near. We will not fear. Our God is near. Our God is near. We will not declare this over your home, over in New York. Our God is near. No, 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 no. Declare it over Detroit. We will not fear. Over Atlanta, over California. Our God is near. Over every nation, over Italy. book of first kings there's this story of a drought that came upon the land and elijah begins to tell ahab in first kings 18 verse 41 he says go up eat and drink for there is a sound of the rushing of rain another version says the abundance of rain verse 42 it says so ahab went up to eat and to drink and Elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel and he bowed himself on the earth, put his face between his knees. Verse 43, and he said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. Some of us have begun to pray and there have been maybe not an answer to prayer yet or things haven't shifted yet, but the story is not over. For Elijah says to his servant, go again seven times go again seven times and verse 44 at the seventh time he said behold a little cloud like a man's hand is rising from the sea and he said go up say to Ahab prepare your chariot and go down lest the rain stop you and in a little while while the heavens grew black with clouds and wind there was a great rain at first there was nothing, but he said, go again. 
seven times. And the story ends with there is a great rain that ends this drought. Can we end today by declaring and to the Lord, making, making a declaration to the Lord that we won't stop praying. <laughs> we won't stop praying for the lost. We won't stop praying for the sick. We won't stop praying for New York and Detroit and these other areas that we won't stop praying. For there is a sound <laughs> of a rushing of rain. So Lord, right now we come to you in prayer and we say, oh God, let faith arise in every heart, let faith arise in every home that has, has settled with the report of the evil, that this will not leave us. We say now in Jesus name that we will not sit back, but we will allow our intercession to rise up and we will let faith arise. We will let faith arise in our prayers. We will begin to push back every sadness. We'll begin to push back the reports that those who are uh, uh, struggling with addictions are going to go back into, into relapse because of this sickness. We push back reports that marriages will not last this illness. We push back reports that, that children will not last this illness. And we say, let faith arise. And we will continue to pray. We'll continue to intercede. We'll continue to pray. For there is a sound coming from heaven of rain. Rain of grace. Rain of healing. Rain of your reckless, powerful love. Let faith arise. Let faith arise. As we get ready to close, just begin to sing this chorus with us. Let faith arise. In your home, in your heart, over your spouse, over your loved ones, near and far. In our homes, in our hearts, in our spirits, Jesus. Let faith arise. One more time. Let's sing it out. Let faith arise. Oh, let faith arise. Oh, Jesus. In our homes, in our hearts, in our spirits, Lord. Let faith arise. So, family. New Life family, Christian family, whoever is watching, would you open up your hands and receive this blessing? I bless you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I bless you with joy today. I bless you with hope. I bless you with faith. May it arise in every area of your home. May it arise wherever you walk when you're getting exercise out in the street. May it arise when you're talking to your loved ones, both near and far. I bless you with faith to proclaim that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, you shall condemn. For the God who is with you is fighting for you. He is your very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, you will not need to fear. And when fear comes to creep its head into your heart, I bless you with a tongue that will proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May you receive peace today. May you receive his hope today. May faith arise in your heart and in your mind. Go forth. Be love to someone. If whether it's an email that you need to send, a note that you need to mail, a phone call you need to give, be hope to someone today. Keep our nation, our world in prayer. For God is here. And Jackson, we don't need to fear. God is near. We don't need to fear. God bless you. Thanks for joining us. We'll be here tomorrow at noon for midday. Have a blessed day, everyone. God bless you.